Green salutation earthlings and welcome back to my channel. So it's been like um over a month since I actually filmed in this channel. And it's about time. It's honestly because I've been debating whether I should make this video or not. Because um in this video I'm gonna talk about something that's gonna sound unreal or crazy. And I feel like I held back from making this video because I just didn't want to be looked at as crazy. I was kind of like, what are people, my, what, like, what are my friends and family going to think about me? You get me? And like, I guess how I was going to look to the world. And um, I guess, you know, fuck that shit. I got to stop caring about what other people think because that just stops me from getting where I want to go in life. It stops me from being myself and it stops me doing from what I want to do. So yeah, so with that being said, um, I'm going to talk about an experience that has, it started in May 4th of 2020, and it's kind of continuously happening to me. So I'm going to just start off. Um, so I was with two of my friends. We, were to, we went to New York, then we came back to Jersey. So then um, we were looking for a spot to burn real quick. So my friend was like, we were near his, his auto shop that he owns with his family. And then um, he was like, oh, we can park in front of there and just burn there. So we were both agreed. So we are like, all right, let's go. So we parked there. We get there. Um, but as soon as we park, the car just stops working. Like, it just turns off. And mind you, my boy, he's a mechanic. Both of them know their car work. They know what, you know, they know about cars. One, like, one of them works for, you know, a car company. So, um, and mind you... Like, why would it just stop working? So a big part of me felt, like, really, really responsible. I felt like it was my fault. I don't know why. I felt really guilty. So two of my, they, they, so the two of my friends, they wanted to go in front of the car to check out what was wrong. Nothing was wrong. <laughs> Literally nothing. And my friend was telling me the day before that he, like, he checked his car. He, you know, he fixed it up. So, like, it was just weird. So my, my, my other boy was like, look, we're in front of an, an auto shop. Like, you know, like, we can fix this tomorrow. I work here. You get me? So they both agreed to like, you know, to leave it to tomorrow's problem. So we go back in the car and they start rolling. But I was still feeling very weird. I felt like something was about to happen. I felt like something was gonna go down in a few in a few minutes. Like I just couldn't not help but feel that feeling. So whatever, I'm in the front, I'm in a passenger seat. So um as soon as they spark it, um I just started feeling weird. Like I'm just sitting down and like out of nowhere, the physical world just disappears. From me right in front of me like it just everything in a way just was black everything just turned black everything around me i couldn't see the the windshield i couldn't see the car i couldn't couldn't see anything from this world the material world so then out of nowhere um the eye in a pyramid you guys know you guys seen you know behind a dollar bill there's an eye in a pyramid on top. It says, in God we trust. And in the bottom, it says um something else. I don't know. I forgot in what language that is. But it says something else. I think it starts with an O. But I'm not sure. So, yeah. That's what came to me. So, right in front of me, that's what appeared. Like, just right here. Like, in this. Right here. If you get what I'm trying to say. um, So, then it was just looking at me. And I was like. I was shook. I was scared. I was scared. My physical body went like. Even my legs, like, twisted up in a some weird way because I was scared. But a part of me wasn't. So the other part of me that wasn't was looking straight at it. Like, I could not resist. Like, I feel like it's such, such such a strong energy force. Like, I could not not look at it. You get me? So, I don't know. Like, it was speaking to me telepathically. Like, it was telling me things through my mind. Like, it was speaking to me in a, I don't want to say language, but in a certain way that like no no it was like no language it was just telepathic as fuck and it was just telling me things but like, i didn't really understand but the other part of me did so then when it stopped speaking like, i said it's really i don't my i don't my conscious or my subconscious like it doesn't remember what it said but i remember like it was telepathic i remember it was really strong and then um i don't know then when he stopped or when it stopped giving me messages you know, I want to stop speaking to me and ask me for an agreement and ask me to, and ask me, and actually ask me for my permission for something. And I remember my physical body went no. I remember I shook my head no. I remember. But then, like, a part of me, like, couldn't resist not saying yes. Like, I don't want to say, like, I felt forced, but I felt the force. Like, I felt the force from it, like, wanted me to say yes because I felt like I had to say yes. 
So then, like, I don't know where, like, my, I don't want to say forcefully, but, like, that energy just made me, I went, I had just, I don't know where it went like this. And I, I was so strongfully trying to say no, but I went. So when I said yes, I agreed to something. The pyramid whooshed away. It just disappeared. And then the eye, it was just, what was left was the eye. I'm getting goosebumps, guys, because now it's getting real. So then the eye just came straight towards me. And then I don't know where there were four people in front of me. So the first w person was a woman. I was looking straight, but I could see from head to toe. She was wearing like clothes from like the six 1600s or the 1800s. I don't know what era, but it was old. It was not in this century, not in this era. Um, yeah, she was in. A, she I forgot what she was. Wearing, like my skin color. Her outfit had coloring. Her hair had coloring. Everything about her had coloring. And when I finished observing her, I went straight into her eye. And right behind her was another woman. Same thing. I observed her without looking up or down. I knew what I was looking at just by looking straight. She looked different from the first. She was not the same person. She was another woman. Different hair, different skin color, different clothing, different everything. Maybe even different race. And then after her, I went into her eye. I went into her eye. There was another woman. Same thing. Look, I could look at her up and down. And once I finished observing her, this is where it gets like kind of kind of crazy. So when I went through her, um, when I passed her, I'm getting goosebumps like... I'm getting like in a way scared and nervous from saying this because I'm alone in my room, but whatever. So then right behind her was um was a man. But the thing about this man that was with different than the other girls, not not because of his gender, was that he was in black and white. And he looked wealthy. He looked professional. He was wearing a suit. He was had a hat going on. I think he had glasses and he had like a little beard going on. But why was he in black and white? And the thing about this man, it wasn't how he looked. It was just the energy, the force, the the power. Just he had. It felt like he had so much power. He he looked. Now he didn't look. He looked professional. He looked rich, but he felt like a powerful man. Like he had power in his hands. Like he could do things. I don't want to say he was in control of a lot of things, but he he probably was. And I'm like, oh, he shook me. I'm like, why does he feel like this? Why? Why is he in black and white? So when I finished observing him, it was like a circle. Like, we're all connected. All those people, they were like in circles, like in spirals. And I went through his eye. And then the physical world appeared to me again. And I was shook. And I was like, I looked behind me and my body was still in that position. I see my friends, they're like, they're just high as hell. I'm like, oh, I'm ready to go. So um, when they finished, when we finished, we left, mind you, the car didn't work, so we had to walk, and home was 40 blocks away, over 40 blocks away. So whatever, I walk home quick as hell, because I'm scared, I just want to, like, bounce. So I ended up going to my friend's house, so I remember I was walking so fast, I was three blocks ahead of them, and they kept calling me, Kathy, Kathy, come back, why are you walking so fast? Nah, not after what just happened to me. So I went to my friend's house, and I was, and then I started whispering, I'm like, yo, I want to tell you something. Why would I start whispering? I felt like I was being watched. I was being listened to. So I'm like, yo, they're listening to us. I, have to, I can't even tell you. So um, I was like, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you. So I grab a notebook and I still have this notebook to this day. It's right here. So I grabbed this notebook and I started drawing like weird, like weird little graphs and linings and circles and started writing some numbers. So I'm going to show you the first one I drew real quick. It was this one. So I started drawing things like this. And um... I put out a dollar and I was like, yo, I was just pointing at it and pointing at this, trying to trying to show him, but in a weird way. And like looking back at this, I don't know what I was trying to say, if I'm being honest. I have like an idea, but like I said, I don't know exactly. Then like he didn't understand, so I was like, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Like I was acting like kind of weird for a good hour or two. I was like, now nah, I'm being listened to, I'm being watched. Like I couldn't ignore that. I couldn't shake that feeling. Okay, so I'm gonna go to another day. Um keep that keep that dude in mind so um one day i don't know that dude really stayed in my my mental pretty strong so like maybe a month or two ago i was in my room and i couldn't shake this feeling that i was being watched so i go outside my backyard and i sit down and i'm looking straight ahead and when i'm looking straight ahead i see the man again i'm getting goosebumps he's in black and white he's still in black and white but this time his eye just be like just be like, I mean, I'm putting it on myself, but just be like, that's him. There's like a spiral going on. It's like this. It's connected to my eye. 
back to his. And I saw him, and I'm like, oh, nah, I'm getting goosebumps again. I was like, nah, let me go inside. And I'm like, uh-uh, I was scared. Okay, so that was just one thing that was connected to that. So then um, the second time I saw the eye was when I was in Alaska. So I was alone in a hotel room by myself. So I was just in my bed, and I'm like, I'm going to want to go outside to, like, chill and smoke. So right before I was about to light it, I already rolled. I went outside. I was in front of the hotel, and I crossed the street. So I was looking this way, and there was, like, a, a line of street lamps uh, straight ahead. And I might do my my hat. My, I was looking this way, and I don't know where, like, they uh, they were all lit up. But then I don't know where they just got so fucking bright. Like, all of them, one by one. And I looked, and then I'm like, oh, shit. But it, it didn't get brighter. I just started seeing it brighter. Like, my eye was picking up, like the illumination that was in the sky from the light, I guess. And then I'm like, oh, what the hell? And I'm like, damn, so this is gonna happen now. I'm gonna see something. Then I don't know where like, my head just swooshed to the left, looking at the building. Then I see it again, the eye in a pyramid. But this time it was as big as the hotel. And this time the eye was in the middle. I was like, nope, not today. My dudes, I'm scared. I was scared because it was very symbolic. Very, very, very symbolic. And I never heard of anyone having an experience like this. I had never heard of that. So I go back to my hotel room and then um, I'm looking around and I see it's everywhere. It's like make, it's like wanting me to look at it. It's like wanting me. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm looking around because I'm getting scared. Fuck it. I shouldn't be scared, but it was popping up everywhere. I'm like, oh, nah. Like the more I looked, it was there. 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 I was like, not today. Because I was scared because I was alone. I was like right above the, I was like, Alaska is in the United States, but it's part of the United States, but it's far it's like 11 hours, I'm pretty sure, in plane. So, I was like, nah. So, I'm um, not. Nah, I ignored it, and I stayed up like two hours, and I called my friend. I'm like, please stay on the phone with me. I'm not going to tell you why, but just do it. Mind you, Alaska, it was like 3 in the morning. So, back in United States, back in Jersey, it was like later, later than that. I'm sorry, it was like 2, so it was the day. It was probably like 5. But my friend, she stays up late, so thank God. Um... So yeah, that was the second time. And I'm not gonna get too deep because I don't wanna make this video that long. So then the third time um, was actually a few days ago, or like two more, like more like two days ago. And it was the full moon in Leo. I remember I went to my backyard and I looked up and the moon was right under me. I mean, I was right under the moon. It was right on top of me. I was gazing at it. I'm like, cause when I gaze at things, I, I get like three perspectives. I see from this side, this side, and then I guess my third eye, and I could I could tell the difference because I could see the moon go three, go back to two, and go back to one, and go back to three. So I was just gazing there, honestly, just trying to see if I can gain some information, like if I can get some information downloaded to me, if I'm being honest. So I come back inside, I lay down, boom. I started feeling very, very, very weird. I was like, damn, something's gonna happen, I feel it. Then I don't know where right in front of me, I just see the eye. Oh, I got scared. And then I started seeing this vision I always see. So there's just one vision I used to, and I still see to this day, and it's repeatedly, because I keep seeing it. I can see with my, my eyes open or closed. But um, yeah, and I remember it, it keeps showing the same scenario, because I never finished looking at the scenario. Sometimes when I, okay, this is the scenario. I see it from like right here from my vision. It's like right around here. I could look into it. And then, um, when I look into it, it's just this dude. And the perspective is like if I'm let's be like this is the guy walking. The perspective is from up here, the POV. So he's just walking and walking. He's like walking. I can see the streets. I can actually see streets. I see people passing by. I see cars. I hear noise. And then I know where he just starts panicking. I can feel his panic. Then he starts looking back and then he's running. Then he then when he looks back again, there's like shadows chasing him, both holes in between their where right, their hearts were supposed to be. And then those shadows turn into three, and then they, they go into each other, and they turn back to one. Then they try to run through him, but I never I never let him go through it because I stopped looking because I get scared. And I'm like, oh, shit, I could see I could see this. So then I came okay, back to what happened the other day. Then I started seeing that, that thing again, but this time sometimes I see, like, shadows running up to me. You get me? They're, like, just running. I could see them walking. It's such, like, they're, like, walking in such, like, I don't know. Like, if they're walking in, not fields, but they're walking in, like, a graph. I don't know, but they're like, sometimes they're walking towards me, like at me, like through my eye and shit. And then I realized last night what I'm really looking at. I'm looking into the eye. I'm looking inside of the eye. I realized, because then like, I'm like, what? And then I'm like, open my eyes and I, I just, the eye is just, I just can't ignore it. It's like, it's telling me to look at it in a way. It's like, yo, look, look into it. Look what I'm trying to show you. 
But a part of me gets scared because it's like, yo, this is mass symbolic. This is behind a dollar bill. There's so much conspiracy theories behind it. You get me? So it's like, I'm sorry, I screamed at you guys. But I'm like, yo. Then I realized, I'm like, fuck it, let me actually look. And I look and I realize I'm looking into an eye. I'm looking into the eye that's behind a dollar bill. So um, I was just looking at it. I'm like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe this is. Like that whole night, like for like a good hour, maybe less. Um, it was there. It didn't want. It did not want to leave. And so I looked into it. It's not gonna leave. But little by little, like I calm myself down because I get scared and I'm like, <sighs> down my eye. Then it just leaves because I have like if I'm not looking into it, why would it be there? So yeah, um, I'm gonna just leave it at that. I guess I wanna. What I'm. If anyone knows what. Like, um, I'm getting stuck. So if anyone's anything to say about this or knows more information about, you get me? Oh, one thing I want to add to that kind of creeped me out and made me think about something stupid. So like when I was looking today, right, when I'm like, when I said that, fuck it, I'm, I'm going to look for a few seconds. Cause I could still see it without saying fuck it, obviously. Cause I'm still looking at it, but, but, but I mean like actually pay attention and like stop being a pussy and look, actually look into it. So, um. I'm like, fuck it. So when I did that, I went like this. Then I saw into it. Yo, you know what that means, right? Like, you, you heard the theories, but that was kind of like, oh, shit. Like, I did some Beyonce, JC shit. You get me? Some Lady Gaga shit. I did some, I don't know. I was like, oh, nah. That freaked me out because I, I feel like this is where I, I, I overthought it. You know, they say, like, Illuminati, this is their symbol. And I was like, oh, nah. Like, my hand, like, it went so, like, you get me? And I was like, oh, nah, this is crazy. So, yeah, um, I have so much stories like this that I have experienced. And I definitely do, and I will talk about it. But, yeah, let's just say, like, that's what's been going on in my life. That is what I was scared of talking about. But, you know, what? I shouldn't be scared of those things. So that's very symbolic, very spiritual. I feel like I'm being enlightened. I feel like I'm a messenger, you get me? I have to put this out there. And I do want to put this out there. So for anyone watching, if you guys have any information about the things I'm saying, the things I'm experiencing, I will very much well appreciate it if you guys could share that with me. I'm definitely going to leave my Instagram. You guys comment too, but if you really have a lot of information or, you know, something to say, you could definitely um, DM me, message me privately, and we could talk about it because I would very, very well appreciate it. So, yeah. With that being said, um, ever since the first time it happened, I've been getting a lot of, lot of knowledge downloaded into my brain. And I feel like there's something I gotta start saying with people. Because then again, I am a master number 11. That means I'm here on earth to basically teach people about the truth. You get me? Like a spiritual teacher. And that's something I don't like embracing because it's like, I guess I'm scared what people are going to think. But fuck what you guys are going to think. This is real. If this is how I really feel, this is what I'm really going to say. So yeah, there you guys go. <laughs> so yeah, it's my experience, guys. <laughs> but yeah, I really... I really appreciate the people who watch my videos. I hope a lot of people get to see this. To realize that we do live in a fake ass world. That a lot of shit is real. To open up your minds and your eyes. Because a lot of shit is going to happen in this. In our generation. We're going to see a lot of shit go down. We are right now in an era where people are starting to awaken. Of who we really are. That we're cosmic beings. You get me? I'm going to just leave it at that. Because I want to make another video about another thing. That I, that we're going to talk about. Or that I'm going to talk about. So yeah guys. um, I just want to say be very safe be very careful and be very aware of what's going on open your eyes to what's going on in this world a lot of things are starting to happen this year and a lot of things are gonna go down so educate yourself and do your research y'all and yeah um i'm always here to talk to someone also one thing i want to add on is to please take care of yourselves and take care of your mind because we live in a crazy ass world like you don't got y'all don't even know the half you get me so yeah so yeah, please take care and have a blessed fucking night. You heard? This is K-Block out. <laughs>